Indigenous Children's Storytime. Books read by Talisa Hartley. In dedication to my sons. Unlawfully, illegally kidnapped. What will you be? What will you be when you grow up? A young girl's dream about all the endless possibilities sparking a sense of wonder, curiosity, and growth. With her abuela's loving guidance, she goes on a path of self-discovery and learns her potential is limitless. In loving memory of my abuelas, Delia Ibiris and Benita Elena Miranda, what will you be? What will you be? When you grow up, they ask. Your mom's this and your dad's that. It's never too soon to dream of what you will become. I don't have to think much. When I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. A unicorn or a clown No, what we really be they insist I ask Abuela because she has been everything under the sun and the moon. Abuela means grandmother in Spanish. She says she's still figuring out what to be when she grows up. Abuela, when I grow up, what will I be? Abuela pauses her work. Bright colors drip from her paintbrush. She looks at the splatter on the floor as if she's reading my future. When she looks at me, her eyes sparkle. You know yourself the best, mi amor. Mi amor is my love in Spanish. She says, Child, what will you be? Nothing comes to mind. Abuela points to my heart and says, Listen. Close my eyes so I can hear the words no ears can catch. Inside me, underneath the rhyme of the drumming, there is a quiet voice. I ask softly, what will I be? The answers come fast in a rush of colors and sound. 
Look at all those beautiful bright colors. They look like they're pouring from her chest and coming from her heart. I will be a builder. I will mold the world in my hands into homes of every shape. Into havens with bookshelves in every corner and a big kitchen where all are welcome at the end of the day. Can you see all the books? All the books through the window? I will be a dreamer finding shapes in the moving clouds. I will write and paint my dreams and my words and pictures will inspire others to tell their stories too. I'm small, but I am a warrior with my pen and brush. I will be an explorer of the land where my roots were born. My ancestors created roads where there were none. Now I march ahead with their strength to the stars for which I am destined. Who knows what roads are waiting for me? When I grow up, I will be a farmer. Planting wonder and change and harvesting the power and knowledge that sprouted for those who dreamed before me. Now with that power and knowledge, I will be a healer of broken bones, and why not even broken hearts? A voice against injustice and hurt, a mender of wrongs. When I grow up, I will be a student looking inside myself and other people to understand what makes each of us one of a kind. All magical and different, all needed and appreciated. I'll also be a teacher and leader sharing my light even in the greatest darkness. Looks like they drew on the cement with chalk. Remembering that laughter is universal language, understood by young and old. Good job, my child, Abuela says. All these things you can be and more. But remember, when a job is too big for little hands, many hands can work miracles. Abuela hands me her paintbrush, and with wonder, I discover the way colors come alive on blank canvas just for me. I grow up, I will be me.
Thank you for watching Indigenous Children's Storytime. I hope my sons and all the other people watching and listening in enjoyed this story today. Thank you for watching all of our videos as this story reading is dedicated to my Hartley sons unlawfully legally kidnapped. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever we have a new story time. Follow my various pages on Instagram. Adults follow me on Green Heart Target. Children, parents, and adults follow me on Purple Beating Heart. See you in our next story time.